still got it. Yeah, most of Port Gaverne is on top of the cliff there. Some perfect skimming stones. Mm. Who needs walls when you have 30 foot high bedrock? Cornwall and the southwest of Devon are mineralogically very different to the rest of England and Wales and Scotland's another story because that was a separate geological plate, the Laurasian plate but geologically this is part of Brittany and Normandy and that's why it's richer in tungsten, neodymium tin and strontium, many orders of magnitude higher than the chalks and clays of England or geologically Avalonia because there are volcanoes some 90 kilometers below the crust um, I mean you could never dig a mine that deep uh, but that's where all the heavier metals fell uh, down when the earth was molten and volcanoes spewed them back up to the crust arguably to kickstart the Bronze Age. So don't forget, bronze is an alloy of copper and tin. Romans called it stannum. That's tin, that is, not the bronze. Here's some top trivia. The Romans called bronze aereus. Beautiful igneous formations of rock here. This cave is mm, mm. <laughs> gorgeous. You can even see the colour change of the strata. If it weren't natural, you'd dismiss it as an eccentric modern art masterpiece yet over countless millennia those solid rocks get chiseled away ground down into sand and washed away by water two dream vans there on the left the 2008 Mercedes Vito short wheelbase with side tinted windows and on the right oh, this is amazing yeah the Golf Caddy Maxi from 2012 start to leave my keys in again <laughs> it's going to be a different story to uh, 
the diversity is our strength places. Ha, ha, ha.